You also mentioned this operating principle, innovate digitally. And I, I want to talk a little bit further about what that entails and examples of that. But before we do, I'd actually, because you also run core innovation for FedEx, and I wonder if you could talk a little bit about how you've organized uh, yourself and your team for innovation. There's a philosophical uh, debate that happens among a lot of executives as to whether or not innovation is something that should be done by a core team, and thus that you've got a sort of a shepherd or a group of shepherds for innovation who are ultimately responsible, who are managing the metrics associated with it and so on, versus or maybe and or making this a set of responsibilities for a vast number of people, perhaps on a part-time basis. Uh, how do you think about that in terms of organizing the organization in the best way in order to foster innovation? Well, I smiled right away because I love the question. And um, there's a couple of reasons why. You know, one of them is you know, working at FedEx and the blessing of working at FedEx for this many years is it has to be in our DNA. You know, our founder is still our chairman, Fred Smith, and is one of the great innovators, you know, maybe the last hundred years or so, you know, we, innovation is something that is an everyday thing. So let me start with that. And then I'll answer your question and say, you know, um, this is one of these cases where it's both, you know, we have limited, dedicated, kind of think of them as special forces teams. One of them, and I probably failed to mention this when I talked about my role, but I have a small but mighty team, we like to say inside, called Operations Technology Innovation. It's a vice president level group, very focused on specific types of innovation in our operations. Um, some real world examples that just this year have been game changing was uh, what we call Sensorware Mobile and sensorware ID node. The reason it's been game changing this year is that's been technology that's been critical of vaccine distribution. You know, we have, you know, it's sensor-based logistics, IOT, you know, the connectedness today, the real-time connectedness explosion. But we put these small sensors, sensorware ID nodes on every vaccine package. And it creates incredible awareness, whether it's in our hubs, as it moves through our networks, it's completely lit up all the time and allows us to you know, deliver that perfect execution we need on the most important product we've ever cover, ever carried, you know, the vaccine. So that team delivers very unique and specialized technologies. And in fact, in the last five years, that team has had more patent filings than in the history of FedEx. Or so I love that team, I'm proud of them. They, they do great work, but as we said, small, but, you know, powerful team. But the reality of it is there are also other areas that are very focused on innovate digitally. One of them is now our new DataWorks team. And uh, in fact, uh, just today we announced, uh, you know, DataWorks, which we only started one year ago. It was just named one of CIO's 2021 Future Edge 50 award winners. And that is, you know, the true focus on data, okay? Think of decision sciences, machine learning and beyond, but how we create different levels of visibility and optimization. So I would say operations, technology, innovation, and data works, call those specialized teams. However, the real answer to your question is yes and, because throughout the organization, every team is empowered and really challenged with some form of innovation. Maybe a real, real quick example, you know, when I was in the freight company originally as a CIO there, you know, we noticed that, you know, this is a distance, weight, and space business. Space is capturing dimensions, right? And it was very hard in the freight industry where it's palletized freight to capture the dimensions. You either had to do it manually and measure or the technology in the industry was you stopped it off of a you know, forklift, dropped it, backed the forklift out and let the dimension or measure. It would killed your productivity. And we decided that we were going to innovate in this space. We were going to lead the industry. And you know, with partnership of the FedEx engineering, IT and some third party partners, we created dim in motion. So on a forklift, driving at forklift speeds, we can dimension our freight in motion. So incredibly powerful in the LTO industry, leading the way, but that was relentless innovation done just as part of our freight company. So so sorry for the long answer, but you know, I it's a it's a I smiled when you asked the question because it's in our DNA. Fred makes sure of it all the time. And you know, and people like Fred and Rob and others are just this is part of who we are and what we do. 
Fred Smith and Rob Carter. Yeah, that make, makes makes a lot of sense. Uh, tell me also, how do you define innovation? There, there's big eye innovations, fundamentally new things that are developed that uh, you know d develop revenue streams or cost efficiencies that have never been there before. There's small eye innovations. I know that some organizations think about, which is more kind of like enhancements, but that that themselves also enhancements to existing products or service offerings, for example, that uh, that that also yield new value for the organization. How how do you think about um, the definition of that? You know, both. And I, I hate to keep answering these two two questions in a row by saying both, but, you know, big innovation is is important. And that's where we have the focus team. So we think just like sensor, it's game changing to us. It's powerful to us in not only, you know, besides the vaccine, I mean, in all areas, any kind of health care areas, but so many products need a different level of visibility. I mean, we led the way early on with barcoding and you know, real time and tracking and eventing. And, and now this is just the next level. So I'll, you know, I'll, I'll generally call that as, even though IoT isn't a FedEx only thing, how we utilize it in FedEx is kind of the big eye of innovation. But I would say the small Y to us, and, and this is, the terms I use is, you know, constructively dissatisfied, you know? And, uh, and, and I think, um, again, it's probably a FedEx DNA thing, but it's certainly, you know, part of my DNA is, I think we always, especially as technologists, we always have to be constructively, that's the key word, dissatisfied in the way we do things because continuous and relentless improvement from that comes innovation. And that's why, you know, the example I gave her, DataWorks and, and uh, you know, out of that is FedEx Surround, out of our ops technology innovation is Sensorware. But just our freight company being constructively dissatisfied of sitting in our hubs and our service centers and watching this freight move and saying, wow, is that a productivity hit to capture dimensions? We've, we said that that's not good enough. We have to be better than that. It literally was about a six year journey, but having in motion dimensioning is game changing. 